Hey, welcome back, everybody. Sign here again with episode 45 of my Engineer's Life 2 playthrough. And kind of cut back to bank a bit. I'm waiting for the destruction gadget to charge up more. Made a discovery, though. So you can see how view bobbing is on. If I turn on my light overlay, it turns off. On. Off. That is definitely, uh, I did not know that view bobbing had a hotkey. And so, you know, learn something every day. All right, one more. Okay. Yep, setting up my, uh, my tank farm for now. All right, so we're going to have... Well, so far, out of this, we're producing lubricant, diesel, and gasoline. So that's three tanks. And uh, let's see. We're also going to need a tank for biofuel from, I keep wanting to say Mine Factory Reloaded, Industrial Foregoing. And let's see. That built up here. All right, so then biofuel, and then we're going to need a tank for biodiesel as well. So I'm going to be using everything that comes out of this, then yeah. It's going to, uh, there's going to be a lot of fluids to be stored. That's uh, quite a bit of iron. And one of the things I've kind of noticed here is... <laughs> no, not another raid. Seriously, where's the rest of your friends? Are they uh, in this hole? I found them a few times, like, hiding out in this cave. But... Uh, like, where's the rest of them at? Oh, that is just odd. Yeah, you can hear a spider move around. Because, yeah, that guy just basically came from behind the tank, so... Guessing he came off the wall up here? Alright, you stinker. <laughs> where's your friends at? All right, yeah, hmm. Yeah, honestly, I just really have no idea. They tried coming down this way. There's a good chance they just electrocuted themselves. Yeah, that stopped because it has nowhere to pump oil to, so it automatically, you know, ceases production when that's the case. And I'm going to have to tear that down and rebuild it once I get this cleaned out some more. It's just the, the lack of a really good charging battery. Like uh, a quick charge three would be interesting on a crossbow. Um, yeah, I don't really have... Yeah, that's all reactor stuff there. Charging station, whatnot. Oh, uh, there's, what, the capacitor backpack. Yeah, it holds 100,000 flux. That's it. But we need some sort of portable battery. Just... Uh, just for the gadgets. Alright, so... Here's the thing, though, right? Okay, I'm going to have three fluids coming out of here. And... Okay, nothing else. I need more pipes. But I'm oh, not corn flour. Uh, let's see. This, right? So this is going to come in like this. To about here. Then it's, it's going to go up. Well, 
Actually, I could just send it straight up from here and go over the wire. I have to go under the wire first and then up. Or I could just run it underground over here. Actually, that might be the best option. I'm going to have five fluids. I've only got one fluid router. But let's see, three fluids from here. That's one fluid router for that, right? I can make more of those routers. It's not like they're a problem. And then I'm going to be pulling gasoline from the gas tank. Ow! Seriously? Yeah, I can... It's what? One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Like, basically eight block reach right now. That's awesome. I love it. But, you know, the, the long range of hurting myself by tapping stone is a bit much. Uh... And then gasoline is going to be old to make biofuel, which will be in here. And then biofuel and gasoline are going to combine to make diesel. Biodiesel. And then that is going to run over to here along with diesel and everything else. I need to get some excavator set up. Just so I have a reason to have all this fuel. I mean, honestly, the main reason I'm doing it right now is just, seriously, it's just bitumen. <laughs> so, I want asphalt. I mean, I guess I could be pumping all that stuff into gas tank, or into trash cans, but, uh, no. Alright, do I still have those pipes over here? Uh, I've got scaffolding over here still, too. Uh, let me go ahead and... Oh, hey, sweet. Iron sheet metal. Nice. The random things I find by just looking into this box, really. Potions of luck. That goes in the potions chest. I need to set up another compacting drawer for the Elorium. I'll have to process up Ravager meat. Ravager hide. I can make into backpacks. And that's kind of it. The, the quark Ravager hide. There's another type that I can convert to leather, which is handy. Unfortunately, I can't, uh, I did make steel ones, huh? I can't convert between the two mods on those. Uh, slight bit of a downer on that one. Uh, let's see, we got pebble shells, and I got all sorts of just stuff over here that I got to do something with. Uh, pipes, so yeah. Nope, don't have any more over there. Uh, the thing is, is I'm, I haven't actually gone into like iron mining or anything like that in quite a while, and I'm down to eighteen hundred. Actually, I haven't really done mining except for like quartz in quite a while. Quartz we're doing pretty good on now, though. Grab that just in case, and because I'm going to need a lot of pipes. Yeah, fifty three is not going to cut it. So. Make like 80 more. There we go. And did I make any of the decor pipes, right? Engineer's decor actually has a few different things. And where would they be? Oh, here we go. Right. Fluid pipe check valve. Straight pipe fragment conducts fluids in only in one direction, does not connect to the sides. Reduces flow rate. Sneak place in reverse direction. We have controlled fluid valve and an analog valve. Okay. So this one might be handy in the future. I'm not a... I tend to do my pipe networks in a way where I don't have to worry about doing check valves and stuff. Also, there's a small water freezer. That's new for me. Ice production device. Hmm. Okay. I've used the... The melting furnace before. Basically, it'll turn cobblestone into lava for you at the cost of power, which is awesome. I've not used the water freezer. I think that's new to post 112, which is the last time I used this mod. A uh, small fluid collection funnel. Basically, yeah, compatible with vanilla infinite water source creation. How bad is that to make? Three hoppers, a tank, or a barrel, 
Metal Wars. That's not bad, really. Hmm. Just trying to think of how well, you know, how I can do everything and also take the opportunity to look to see what's available. Label Crate, was that still? Yeah, that's now old industrial wood planks. In the older versions, this, the uh, Label Crate, for some reason, had the same recipe as the reinforced storage crate. Small waste incinerator is a trash can with first in, first out. And it has, I think it's like 12 inventory slots in it. So if you accidentally void something, it's not instantly gone. It just runs through the list as it goes. So if you're quick, you can save your items from the incinerator. Uh, maybe I should keep one of those on me, the raid horns. They are your, I had to read up on them because, well, an item from Charm. I can cancel a raid. Which would be handy since I have a village here and I don't want to deal with it. All right, so types I've got, uh, where is my router? There you are. I'm going to need some buckets of stuff. And I should probably take a nap. All right, so took the opportunity to make myself some more food as well. And yeah, I was worried about that. Can't see the pipe from underneath because it's recessed a bit. All right, I got my overlay on again because of well reasons. I want to make sure it's nice, well, bright enough down here that I don't have to listen to mobs being annoying. There we go, and you don't connect. All right, and router is going to go probably here, I think. To work, right? Right, so green is going to go here. And I don't like how the pipes look like laying on top of the tank, so. And you can have a torch right there, right? Yellow is going to go over to here. I put all my torches right in the wrong spots, didn't I? All right. Uh, yeah, you can have a torch right there, too. That's not going to make matters any worse. And then blue will go here. Uh, well, here. I think right here might not be a bad spot to leave available for getting in and out of here. And one thing I really miss right now actually is long fall boots from the portal gun mod. Just simply for that annoying angle breaking noise that happens quite often. There we go. Uh, now we're just going to pop these off here. I can see all the colors without having to worry too much about it. Right now, here comes the fun part, right? I have to rethink my plans. There we go. Brick. Everything was hooked up for a second. 
lubricant, gasoline, diesel. Okay, I mean, it works, it, it works, right? So, you were green, right? Green, or light white listing, lubricant, right? Now I can go back. Gasoline is on blue. And diesel, right? That could have been bad if they didn't quite separate themselves out. Like if, say, it just started putting lubricant to all three tanks, then it could have been an issue. But I lucked out there. And now it's running. And it flickers when it runs for whatever reason. Oh, power. Power would be a bit of an issue then, wouldn't it? How is our power doing anyway? I haven't checked on this in a while. I haven't run the generators in a while either. Let's go ahead and have some apple yogurt. Not a flavor you traditionally you know, associate with yogurt. So, Empty, empty. Oh, well. That's why it's out of power. It's My capacitor bank's completely drained and... Uh, Yeah. Now I should come over, be able to come over here and be, I'm going to put lights on those. Oh. All right. Hey, look, it's running full cycle-ish, kind of. It does weird things with power, but it's not flickering anymore. So let's go look at our, our bitumen now, right? Hey, stack and a half and climbing. So... Definitely doing good there. Uh, let's just go ahead and stack my buckets up here. 40 buckets of diesel. 60 buckets of gas. And 14 buckets of lubricant. Alright. So yeah, we end up getting a lot more. Well, not a lot, but... Like a, a 2 to 3 ratio of uh, diesel to gasoline. So... Now I'm going to have to hook up... Like... An arc furnace and a few other things and like oh I need a mixing machine to mix the graphite and the gasoline together to make biofuel and then I need a refinery with biofuel and gasoline to make biodiesel out of it. Plus I have this biodiesel set up over here. Which how's this doing? Uh well it's draining the is it draining the tank out? No. No, it's filling up. This is all back stuffed wonderfully. Goes this. Uh, looks like it's okay. But right now, running those two generators is a little more than the cloches can keep up with. But I've got a lot of reserve power. As long as I don't have to run both of those continuously you know, perpetually, you know, in perpetuum, then, uh, we should be fine. And we're getting all those wonderful bitumen, which also is part of what's used to make graphite dust. So charcoal is only made in Coke ovens. Oh, this is going to be a fun little setup here just to get power out of Either that or avoid the gasoline. I mean, honestly, I could just set this stuff up to void and just not deal with a ton of machines, but no. <laughs> I don't want to waste stuff. So, you know, that's, that's bad. Turn that off. All right. But our pump jack is running, amazingly. And, I mean, we're, well, we're making diesel. That's the main part of this part of this, right? Now gasoline, I could also just make an entire wall of portable generators. I don't think so. Hmm. So at least get like the stone out of my inventory here. Stone dirt, grass, all that stuff can go away. Uh let's see. 
down to 47 pipes. So, yeah, I had to use quite a bit of that. Quite a bit of those pipes there. So, where did I overmade pipes? And, yeah, no. I didn't. Like, coal and bauxite. I guess I should run those with the crusher. Which is something I really should get into going with, but... I mean, for what I'm doing right now, this is working. Right, I got a bunch of gold grit. I'm getting aluminum, I have coal, and yeah. Oh, did not mean to do that. Also, cut. I've got so much biodiesel stored up in these little barrels, too. I got lava sitting over here. All in all, it's just a mess, honestly. <laughs> At this point, it really is. Now, one thing I am going to have to watch out for is... Hi. Come here. Thank you. I can really only run four generators. Four diesel generators. Because the relays can... Oh my... You guys just go away. Holy crap. Um, yeah. Right. Actually, let's check the manual. Let's get inside the storeroom here. Ow. Okay, yeah, let's just go ahead and run into a high-voltage wire while we're at it. I do that way too many times. All right, powers, wires, generators, uh, basic wiring... All right, transformers, okay. One second, only non HP transformers can be placed like this on the wooden bowls, which is a okay. kind of a thing, right? And so the thing I'm curious about now, where was the, there we go. Actually, no, I can run eight. Each wire has a maximum transfer rate of eight times what each connector can handle. So I could run eight generators. Multiple connectors can unify into a single wire, allowing you to combine transfer longer ranges. Maximum transfer rate of the wire must not be exceeded, or else the wire will burn up. Even through unloaded chunks, as long as the input and output chunks are loaded, uninsulated wires connected to an energy source will cause damage to players and mobs too close to them. Insider are available for low and medium voltage. Now, say if I wanted, I could run medium voltage wires overhead, but I'd only be able to ever run two generators. And I would have to pull out at high voltage and then, yeah, do all that stuff and things, right? Probably use the capacitor trick to, uh, well, it's not a trick, it's just, Kind of cheating and it avoids using transformers. But the transformers do look cooler, so that'd be a definite reason to use those. All right, so tank farm is set up. Uh, let's see the whole like gasoline chain. Let's look over that again. Gasoline, it comes out of the distillation tower. 39 millibuckets per 75 of crude oil. Actually, let's just look at the. Really? Lubricant, diesel, and gasoline. So yeah, it is it is a three... Well, it's not even quite an even ratio, now, is it? Huh. It is a 9 to 13 ratio. All right. Kind of odd. So I can make napalm out of gasoline using aluminum grit, which, yeah, it's, it's fun stuff, but it's kind of spendy after a while, thanks to the aluminum. So one graphite dust with half a bucket of gasoline equals half a bucket of biofuel in a mixer, which is something I haven't even made yet. And then we can take that gasoline. One part biofuel to two parts gas equals two and a half of biodiesel. Interesting ratio, but okay. And that's going to be our best way of using up the gasoline since diesel generators cannot run off of gas. Bit of a shame there. So actually, let's look at the mixer, right? Because we're going to need to make one of those soon. 
a heavy machinery mixer. Dissolve solids into fluids, mixing them together. Structure is built to shown. Common uses for this machine are mixing fluid, concrete from water, two part sand, one part gravel, one part clay. The creation of potions from water and their various ingredients. Fluids are input into the mixer through the port at the bottom of this power supply. Okay. I just can input the two hashes in the back. Fluid port in the front serves as the fluid output. Applying redstone signal, you know, halts progress. Behavior can be inverted. And that's a cookie dough, right? And then the refinery we have made. Automated workbenches are actually something that I need to get into as well. Uh, they're mainly used for uh, automating blueprints, but you can only automate one recipe from a blueprint per workbench. Uh, where is my... I never did bring over my uh, engineer's workbench, did I? That's uh, still in the basement. Yeah, I am just kind of scattered around here. Yeah, it's still here. So, like, if we wanted to do... Yeah, here, right? We've got four recipes in the crafting components tab. And that is, you know, circuit board, iron mechanical, steel mechanical, and vacuum tube. So, to automate these four recipes, I would need four automated workbenches. Not the end of the world. Uh, each one is a 3x3x2 a three by three by multi-block, so they're not huge either. And I would probably need one also for the arc furnace electrodes that I got. Yeah, this one here. Just for kicks. Um, I think it is finally automated where you can automatically insert the arc furnace electrodes. Specialized projectiles. Those are all fun. The wolf pack cartridge is just evil. Oh yeah, more biodiesel. Oh hey, I can eat cod now. Let's go ahead and eat the cod. Gets it out of my storage. All right, so. What to work on next? Oh, you're, you're on that stage again, huh? Uh, yeah, dry rubber production is really slow with just one of those. Especially with the whole new mechanic of it runs a log through and then it strips it and then runs it through again. Not a big fan, honestly. Not really a fan at all. Did I have any of this in here? I did. I didn't need to grab that thing, but we still have seven left. Oh, well. But the, uh, yeah, no, it, that slows it down quite a bit, having the whole strip log thing. I could automate it to you. Oh yeah, thing has happened. This bank is full now. Because of how it, what happens is power comes in here, goes to here, to there, to that one, right? To the third one down. And then this third one outputs to here. So let's go ahead and grab out our voltmeter. Yeah, you're full. Yeah, you're all full. Yeah, everything's back up to full, so I could just shut this off now. Let that diesel generator run out, and what I need to do is hook up a comparator to like an output stack, and that'll turn on different uh, diesel generators. Like if it gets below like a quarter, kick on the generator. Oh, also, arc furnace electrodes don't render in until the first time you open the machine up. There they go. That's still a thing. That's, okay. Uh, how are we doing here on gas? I mean, the refinery tower works extremely fast. And, yeah, we're up to 11 stacks of bitumen so far. Ow. Yeah, that was smart. Okay. So, uh, go up here instead then. But I think I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. I've got a lot of using the uh, destruction gadget ahead of me here. Which, uh, it's just going to take a while. I have to, you know. I can use it, I think I used it three times. And when I tried to use it the fourth, no, I used it four times. 
when I try to use it a fifth time, then it's like, mm, you got enough for half of a use here. So, I'm looking at what? I got five tall. Okay, yeah, we're good. Four, five, six, and it's quit rendering for me for some reason. Yeah, there we go. Four, five, six. Got that copper out. One, two, three, four, five. And yeah, ran out of power and left a little bit back here. And for whatever reason, it leaves all the seeds in the ground. But it's a lot quicker still than mining it all out by hand. But thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And until the next one, the sign signing out. Have fun.